What's up guys, it's Callista here with a Tides of War Pirates of the Caribbean video. This video is going to be about monster hunting and in particular just some tips and tricks and the event that happens once a week. So in order to get started, let's go inside our territory. I'm going to click on the daily event. So today is Wednesday. I don't know when I'm going to post this. I'm going to try to post it by Wednesday. Um, but today is the event. It's called Besting the Beasties. Um, and it says Pirates Can't Lose to Monsters. You can see my ranking is 128. And I highly, highly recommend doing this event. It is very easy for newer players. The really cool thing is there are monsters at all levels. So the way that this game works, you need to basically, you can't just start and hit a level 15 monster, right? You have to hit levels 1, 2, 3, 4, three. It's basically sequential, right? Um, and that is really helpful because you're always going to be able to find monsters that are appropriate for your level. The important things to realize here are um, basically the how to earn points for this event, right? So you can see levels 1 through 3 monsters, you get 160 points. So if you're thinking about doing this event and let's say you are a brand brand new player um, you should be hitting level one because whether you hit a level one a level two or a level three you're getting 160 points so hit a level one and you're gonna get a lot less wounded so again when you attack a monster here you actually get wounded um, troops so you don't want to make sure that your pirates get wounded and you fill up your hospitals so a really good way is as you're looking at this figure it figure out what ranges um, you can hit and then basically hit the lowest level monster of that range so right now let's say for me um i can hit a level 20 really easily like i don't lose too much but it doesn't matter because i could hit a level 19 lose even less and still get the same amount of points right because you can see level 19 through 21 is 400 points so that's basically um kind of the rule of thumb now the really cool thing is this can feel kind of like a chore right if you're going through the map and you're constantly saying okay i need to find a level 19 monster let me find a level 19 monster especially during the event you can see my alliance still going strong nft nerf this um there a lot of them have been hitting monsters a lot you can see all the little dashes right um the lines kind of going across the map so it's going to be hard for me to find that level 19 monster because a lot of these guys know the strategy right so um the really cool thing is that instead of you having to do this manually there is the opportunity to auto monster hunt for the you newer players when you discover this it feels so good right so the way that you would use it is you would basically decide how many um ships you're going to be sending to a specific monster and then click the auto hunting streak which you can see at the bottom left now i don't have any left i think i had maybe like 150 and you get these from events from doing other events right so you get them from events and you can also purchase them so there is a pack that I will show you guys and I'm actually going to show you the pack because it's helpful for you guys to see what that auto hunting pack uh, auto hunting tool looks like so you can kind of see what the icon is um, where is it here we go so this is the beast master pack if you look at that second line where it says capture tools and you see that kind of like scary looking woman in gold in that circle those uh, tokens or those tools are basically how you are able to use auto hunt so you would basically go target a monster like i said before decide how many ships you're going to be sending click that hunting streak you would check it off and it would tell you how many it can go it can hit and set it set it right and you could do this three times depending on right now three times for me but depending on how many um kind of ships uh, in terms of like the different marches or different armies that you can send out, uh, you can send that many and have them all on a hunting streak, right? So right now I can send three different batches of boats. So I could say I want to hit a 13, a 16, and a 19, the lowest tier of each of those three groups, and auto hunt for all three of them. And it's going to constantly keep hitting those, which is awesome because it takes out a lot of the annoyance, right, of having to do this manually. Now, I highly recommend make sure you have your capture tools that you're collecting them throughout the week and then just go nuts on them on Wednesday and just 
set set it now the big caveat here is make sure that if you have that on that you're continuously going into your hospital and healing right so you don't have to completely stay in the game non-stop but you should be clearing your hospital constantly because it is going to be getting filled with wounded troops it's a really great idea to make sure that you don't let it get super super full because it's going to be hours and hours of healing but if you do it in small batches the helps that you're going to get from your alliance are going to help clear your hospitals pretty quickly without you having to use any speed ups which is awesome right um so those are kind of like the big things now why is it important um to have and let me shield up because my shield just dropped but why is it important to hit monsters right so if you look at your event for the monster hunting you, the event the gifts that you're kind of getting along the way are these that are grayed out and they are pretty good the the one all the way at the end is a 40,000 exp bonus for your captain um you get gold you get speed ups there isn't any reason not to do it right and in addition why should you be monster hunting for this so your captain level is incredibly important that along with your research is really going to help determine how strong you are in this game so if you're thinking about uh, how strong your troops are right like how 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 much hp do your pirates have and how strong are your boats those are really important things right and you would see those in your skills like your pirate attack your pirate defense and the reason that this is so important is in your research you are controlling the HP and the attack and the defense by tier. And there are 10 tiers in this game, right? So you're controlling it for the Axe Pirates. And then you're going to go into the Sword Masters. And you're constantly kind of researching your way down. But these, these points affect all of them, right? So they're really, really important. And if you have two level 19 side by side and one has a level 19 captain and the other one has a level 35 captain the level 35 captain is going to be way stronger and more powerful than that other level 19 who has that level 19 captain right so the best way and the easiest way to level up your captain is by hitting monsters you have to hit them all the time and the thing to be mindful of when you're hitting monsters is your stamina right? your stamina is this green bar that is on the right of my photo or if you look here you can see 770 out of 770 um so you basically start running out of stamina but it is very easy to get stamina through just events and stuff like i have tons and tons of stamina right and you recover 50 stamina here 100 stamina there so also when you have your auto hunting on make sure that you're continuously replenishing your stamina in addition to clearing your hospitals to make sure that you're kind of benefiting from the auto hunting um hope this was helpful let me know if you have any questions below i'm going to be posting more videos on this game as i kind of learn more about it i'm having a blast playing it. i think it's such a unique concept um and it really kind of spins it on its head a little bit with the whole boat piece which is a different component that you have to account for and if you have any ideas for additional questions or information that you'd like to see me cover on tides of war please post them down below and as usual thank you so much for watching